Sorry, Drill B! Three, two, one, run! Oh, you got him! Oh no! Where's the guy? Uh oh! I hear T Rex behind us! Oh no. uh, yeah, here we go. We're gonna cut it and get away from T Rex. He's coming! Ah. Okay, let's see what the Styronator can take. Okay, Parker and Joe B, go for it. Oh! Ooh, it's loud! Oh! Oh, man! Oh! Ooh, it's loud! Here. Ah, oh, that was a loud one there. All done. Is that all of them? Yeah. Okay, man, I'm gonna come around and see what it, how it held up. Wow, look at all these dents. Oh, wow, man. Hey, this Dinonator's pretty tough, huh? Yeah. It's got some dents and all, but it held up to your blasting it. It was like loud in there. Woo. Okay, this was a great idea to come out this end, the park, you know, way away from all the other dinosaurs here at the far reaches of the park. So we wouldn't have to be worried about, you know, accidentally shooting a dinosaur with a sleeping dart. Yeah. That's pretty good. Huh? <gasps> did you hear that? Yeah, I did. like a T-Rex. I think it was T-Rex. No. Hey, you know what this means? Yeah, we can put in a new tracking device. Yeah, do you have it with us? Yeah, it's in the back. Okay, let's get our other sleeping dart blasters. We're finally gonna blast T-Rex with a tracking device so he won't be sneaking up on us anymore. Yeah. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go. Get on in. Ah, there's the blasters right there. Okay. Okay, let's get in. Just right here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, you got a probe there. Yeah. And I got a probe here. I tell you what, I'll use this one. Okay, you ready to pull the pin on it and get this bad boy lit up? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. There we go. It's blinking. It means it's transmitting back to HQ and to our mobile monitor here. We'll check it out in a minute. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy ready. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's put that in there. All right, ready to go. When T Rex gets here, okay? Okay. I'll back you up with this one over here, just in case, all right? Stand up. Okay, here we go. Ready? That's ready. Okay. Okay. Any minute now. Oh, I see T Rex. Oh, you do? Yeah, he's coming. Okay. Wait. Just got a really good angle on him, okay? Okay. Three, two, one. Fire! Yeah, I got him! You got him? Yeah! What's he doing? T-Rex is mad. I think it's a good Quick, sit down, sit down. Okay, be quiet. Sit down. Park Ranger Aaron! Shh! Sorry, Park Ranger. Shh! You know, so rule long. number two of running a dinosaur park? No, I don't know rule number two. What's that? Rule number two is don't rip one inside a box for with T-Rex outside. Oh yeah, that's a good rule number two. Okay. okay. Oh, shh. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I think T-Rex might be leaving. Yeah, it's gone. He is. Yeah. All right. Cool, Yahoo! man. All right, let's get out of here and get some fresh air then, okay? All right, some fresh air and let's pick up these practice secret art balls, okay? Okay. Here, oh, here we go. Here's a whole bunch right here. How many you got there, huh? About seven. Okay, I got about five. So that's 12, so eight. only 88 more to go then, huh? <sighs> got 87 there. What is that? Is that like T-Rex? I think it was. Yeah. Wait a minute. I think T-Rex is that way. Yeah, that means we can use our tracking device. Oh yeah, with the tracker. Yeah. Okay, we got the screen inside the Dinonator. Let's see if the new tracking device comes up on the monitor there. Yeah. Let's go. Oh yeah, leave those here. We'll get those later. Yeah. Okay. Fire up the old tracking screen there, okay. huh? All right. See if this thing works, huh? Oh, it's working. Ooh, there's T-Rex. Yeah, there is T-Rex right there, the yeah. red dot. Wait, it's moving closer towards us. Oh, yeah. No, we gotta get out of here. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, we get the keys. Oh. Hurry, dude! I don't have the keys. Oh, no, I don't I have, have the either. keys. I thought you had the keys. No, you were supposed to have them. Look, T-Rex is almost here. Wait a minute. I left them up the trail where we were practicing with our sleepy dart blasters earlier. No. Oh, he's almost here. We have to go get him. Grab your sleepy dart blaster. You see T-Rex anywhere? No, I said I have sleepy dart. Oh, you did? Oh, watch out. You don't want to get all numb there, okay? 
Let's go this way. Okay. And we'll see if we can find T-Rex, okay? okay? You go first. Wait, no, you go first. No, 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 you go first. Oh, fine, I'll go first. Dude, I'm not a blaster rest. Well, okay, but it works pretty well. Tree. I'm <laughs> hiding here. Uh, but I got here second. Okay. Ow. My shoulder's not an armrest either. Okay, let's go this way. I think the keys are around the corner here, right? Yeah. Okay. okay, watch out for the poison ivy. That stuff's worse than a T-Rex bite, huh? Yeah. Wait, no! T-Rex bite is way worse! Well, maybe for you, poison ivy, that stuff really bad for me. Itches. Oh! What? Wait, no, it's just the beetle. Take what? that, beetle! No, no! Leave the beetle alone, dude! Oh, uh, okay. Well, there's a big, mean, green-looking beetle there. So? Okay. I've got your six. Or your 12, what is it? Nine, three. Oh, I'm covering the back here, so make sure T-Rex doesn't sneak in behind us here, okay? Oh, Mark Ranger Aaron, there it is. Hey, the keys. Yeah. That's where I left them. The keys to T-Rex Ranch and the Dino Nader. T-Rex. T-Rex. Rule number one. Rule number one? What's rule number one? T-Rex, come back, Mark Ranger LB. Rule number one, if in doubt, run. <laughs> Get in the Dino-Nator! Okay, here we go. Why are you sitting here, down? I mean, what's going on? Why are you sitting down? Because Sirius can get us if we drive off. He can? What's the point of all this armor, then, huh? He can capsize us. Oh, okay. Roll us over. Roll us over, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, well, we need a plan, then. I got one up my sleeve. You do? Wait, I don't really have one on my sleeve, but I do on my backpack. You have a plan in your backpack? Yeah. Oh, okay, what is it? Got in here. Here it is. Oh, what is it? It's one of our new grenaders. Oh yeah. Okay. So, what do you think we're gonna do with it? We're gonna load it and put it on the mobile command center. Then it's gonna distract T Rex and we can zoom off. Okay, good plan. Okay, okay let's load this bad boy up then. I'll hold on to it. Do you have any sleepy dart balls in there? Yep. Ooh, a whole bag of brand new ones, huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Put it. Ah, all right. That makes four on each side, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, there's the last one now. Okay. There we go. Where's the pin? Here we go. Get the pin in here. All right, it's all loaded and ready to go. Yeah. Who's going to put it up on the dinonator and pull the pin? I'll pull it. You will? Okay. Yeah. Here, you take that. I'll take my sleepy dart blaster and I'll keep it covered from the rear, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's get out of here, man. Okay, all right, before T-Rex comes back. Okay. Okay, here we go. No, no, no. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta get the keys. Great Park Ranger, Aaron. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Okay. Okay, find the door. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. 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 Wait, we gotta back up. I can't see anything. You all have to get out and direct me, okay? Okay. Yeah, come on, let's go. Here, here, here. 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 Come on out. Mm. Hurry, Parker. You want me? T Rex is coming. I'm trying to. Okay, you direct me. I'll back up. Okay. I'll back, back, back. Okay, back. 
Wait, wait, can I go forward? Back. No, no, just back. Wait, back? Back. Back. Am I turning now or straight? Turn right. Forward, 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 forward. Uh, a little left. Straight shot forward. Here, get in. What? I'm not driving correctly. Here, You're get in. like a madman. Uh oh, it's rolling back. Hurry, get in. Get in, hurry. Uh oh, it's rolling backwards. Here we go. Okay, we're on the move. Oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh no, oh, we're going to go. Uh oh. Okay. Woo. Ah. Oh no. What? Oh, my door's back. Okay, here we go. I hear T Rex behind us. Oh. I think this is the straight run right here. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're going to gut it and get away from T Rex. He's coming. Ah. Ah. We're only going six miles per hour. Ranger, what's all this? Park Ranger Asher, come check it out. I found this trunk in a basement filled with all these interesting knickknacks. Like this old dusty notebook. <coughs> <coughs> Too bad there's no way we would ever know who it would belong to. This notebook belongs to Park Ranger Andy. Oh, wait, Park Ranger Andy? But that's me. I don't remember ever owning that notebook or any of this stuff. <gasps> I bet it belonged to the very first T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger! My great, great, great grandpa Andy! Wow, he must have been pretty great. Yeah, it was okay. Oh, look, he wrote a letter to future park rangers. <gasps> That's us! Dear future park rangers, I am writing from the year 1862, where I have just buried what I am calling a time castle. Somewhere in T-Rex Ranch, this time capsule contains one very important item that can only be used by park rangers. In order to find it, I have devised what I am calling a scavenger hunt with clues that will lead you to the capsule and all the wonder contained therein. Good luck and happy hunting. Wow, 1862, that's almost... A hundred and sixty years ago. A hundred and sixty years? That's almost a million! Hmm. I wonder if the time capsule's still there. Well, there is only one way to find out. Scavenger hunt! Backpacks? She yeah. Shovels? She yeah. Dino freeze ray? Uh, dino freeze ray? But we're just going on a full little scavenger hunt, no? Well, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Good point. Go to the place where the winged dinos sleep and try not to make a peep. Hmm. Most dinos weren't classified back in Grandpa Annie's age. Tyrannodon? Maybe. Or the Tannosaurids. Their name means winged lizard. That's some good thinking, Park Ranger. I hope I'm as smart as you when I grow up. Now let's go find us a time capsule. Wait! You need to drive. Oh, okay. You say so. Well, looks like we found a Patinosaurus. So, now what? I mean, if only we had some kind of marker! Oh. Well, what do you know? It's time to start digging. <gasps> I have something already. Oh, this is good. Oh, got it. Oh, this is pretty simple. Look at it. I think I got something. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, pieces here. Oh, wow. Don't make me beg. Go to the place where the spiny lizards lay their eggs. Well, we know what that means. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course we do. You don't know, do you? I do, I do. Snakes are What is this? Gardens. <laughs> Let's just go. I knew it. Thank you. 
Coast is clear. Okay, guys. So now let's see. <gasps> X marks the place. I think you mean X marks the spot. Uh, that's what I said. Just be careful, because if a Spinosaur sees us, we're goners. So we're gonna have to move very slowly. Very slowly. Got it. Okay, not that slowly. Ah! Oh! 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 I got something! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Talk right, Granny, does it again! Let's start reading! More writing! Are you sure you read the third clue correctly? Go where the running lizards hunt for food, and hope against hope that they're in a good mood. That's a wrap for right? But what do we do now? I don't know. Great, great, great Grandpa Andy was great at many things, but my includes was not one of them. <gasps> Wait a minute. Look, where the raptors were. There it is! Grab the shovels. Ooh, here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on second thought, why don't we just go back to Dino headquarters where it's, you know, safe and quiet? I mean, after all, I don't need no dusty old time capsule, do you? Well, it's not about the time capsule anymore, because if we don't complete the mission, then who will? You know what? You're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you're always right. Right? Let's do it. Oh, things are looking up. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I got you now. Hey, where you going? Told ya. Huh. You did good, Park Ranger. You did good. Here we go. What to do? The time capsule is located 200 paces beyond Dino HQ. Oh, are you kidding? After everything we went through today, it was right behind Dino headquarters the entire time? Oh. I'm beginning to think your great, great, great grandpa was in all that great. You could say that again. After all, how many times today were we put in hands away? I think it's Harm's Way. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Ham's Way. After all, pigs are very great. What? 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. Shovel, please. <laughs> dig! Dig! Faster! Dig! Dig! Keep digging! <gasps> Help me, help me! Oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What did we find? What did we find? It looks like a dino remote control! Well, what would you do? 1862, present day. <gasps> I think it's a time machine! Wait a minute! What if it's not? What if it's something really, really bad, like something that drops a brachiosaurus down from the sky on us or something? This is a time machine. Huh. Nope. Well, proceed. Okay, 
Here we go. <gasps> Gold diggity, where am I? Oh, hello, handsome. You look awfully familiar. Well, I should. I'm your great, great, great grandson, Andy. And this is my associate, Park Ranger Ashley. Well, oh, pleasure to meet you. That must mean you discovered my time machine. He sure did. Oh, well, I'm glad to see that it still works. May I take a look, see? <gasps> Not bad for an antique, eh? I built this time machine in order to bring dinosaurs from the past and study them in our present. And that is how T-Rex Ranch began. We had no idea. But we have so much to talk about. Yeah, and you should come see all the new gadgets we've invented. I would be delighted. Uh, uh, I'm going to take what I'd like to call a rain check. Got to go. He took the time machine. They left us with all kinds of questions. Aww. You know what? He left me with a brand new hat, too. A brand new old hat. Let's a look. Oh! <laughs> Bye, Jimmy Jank. That was close. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bad. Hey, Park Ranger Andy. Trid. I'm not a trash can. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Park Ranger Asher. I guess my aim is off. But so are my ideas. What are you working on? I'm trying to come up with this year's famous T-Rex Ranch skills course. But it just can't be any old skills course. It's got to be the greatest skills course ever. To make up for last year's, you know, incident. <laughs> Turns out, make a dinosaur laugh is a little too challenging. So this year, I have to redeem myself. Wait, can I help? This is the only time I can earn the skills course builder achievement badge. And, you know, it's the rarest badge of all. That's because building a skills course is so much harder than it looks. Well, I have so many ideas, like something with bubbles. Bubbles? Yeah, dinosaurs love bubbles. They do? Huh, well, I'll think about it, but you gotta think bigger. This year's gotta be the biggest and best skills course ever, or I'm not fit to wear this uniform. That really doesn't fit. Hmm, you know, I'm sorry, Park Ranger. I think I have to do this alone. Wait. How about a competition where we both try and come up with a course? And then whoever wins truly earns the skills course builder badge. Does that mean that could be me? The recipient of an extremely rare skills course builder achievement badge? <gasps> I do like the sound of that. Okay, you got yourself a deal, buddy boy. Now, somebody should really clean this place up. What a great idea. And another one. I have so many amazing ideas. Aw, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. Yeah, maybe that'll spark the old inspiration station. Good luck. Luck? <laughs> I don't need luck. Once the ideas get flowing, I will be back in two, no, in one hour. Doesn't seem like much time, but sure, I guess I'll meet you in an hour to pick the winner. Wait, really? Uh, uh, okay then, one hour. In my big mouth. Okay, see you in an hour. <laughs> and he has another one. Gotta be something around here to inspire me. Something like, like those trees, <gasps> or the beautiful sky, <gasps> or dirt. Dirt? Dirt's not an idea. Oh, come on. <sighs> Look at that. Look how beautiful those creatures are. Sometimes I just need to stop really reflect on these gorgeous animals. 
kind of makes me want to sing. Oh, this must be what inspiration feels like. Oh, this must be what I've been searching for. Oh, you're not supposed to be in this part of the ranch. Please, please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Hey, you like my singing. I mean, uh, you like my singing. You like my singing. You like, you like, you like, you like my singing. La 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 la. La la la. Not bad. I wonder how Andy's doing. Skills course, skills course. Why can't I come up with the skills course? Yeah, hi. Ah! Ah! Well, maybe if I didn't have to sing to you, then I could come up with something. Oh, yeah! So basically, 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 it's your fault, your fault, your fault, your fault, la 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 la, your fault. Oh, it's my beautiful voice. Done. My ideas are small, but I think it's enough to win the skills course builder patch. Time's almost up. Park Ranger Andy, wherever you are. Almost out of time, all alone, all alone. Why don't you leave and go back home? Go back home. I want. You know what? No. I am done. I am done singing for you. I have a skills course to create and a build a batch to earn, so no more singing, no matter what the consequences are. <laughs> if only I could come up with an idea to get an angry pack of raptors on my back! <laughs> Wait a minute, that's it! That's my big idea! <laughs> oh, hey, Park Ranger Usher, I am so happy to see you and not one of those raptors. Okay. Want to see my skills course? Oh, you bet. I am ready for the big reveal. Okay, the obstacles may look easy, but the difficulty level is high. Let's see. Turn around! Whoa! Whoa! Look at this! Wow! I mean, how? All this in one hour? And I only just came up with one big idea. I guess you won. Hmm. My course only has small obstacles, so it would be a lot better with one big exciting obstacle at the end. Like mine? Yeah. Maybe we combine our ideas and make the greatest skills course of all time. I would be honored. <laughs> okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. Impressive! I can't do that with my eyes open! And go! Okay, go! Gotcha! Great job! Now that's one! You got three more to get! That doesn't count. You have to get the dinosaur past the orange cones. Allosaurus, Dimetrodon, uh, 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 Tyrannodon, uh, Gigantosaurus, and uh, Spinosaurus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> come on, come on, the clock is ticking, the clock is ticking! Which dinosaur has a large brain and long claws for tailing their prey? Raptors! Okay, no, no, T-Rex, there you go. No. 
<gasps> oh yeah, Raptor. Here we go. <gasps> Candy. Oh no, wait, no time, I gotta win. Okay, park ranger, are you ready for the exciting and extremely dangerous finale, the Raptor Roundup? Did you say extremely dangerous? Well, yeah, potentially extremely dangerous. But that's why we're doing this as the first ever Team Skills Course Challenge. Are you ready, park ranger? As I'll ever be. <coughs> Here we go. Me, 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 me. Hey there, Raptors, come along with me. Let's go back to your home where you're supposed to be. La, 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 la. Let's go back. Bum, bum, bum. And here we are, right out of song to sing. This better work, Park Ranger, I should do your thing. For the bubbles, for the bubbles, for the bubbles. Uh, I better move faster. Those doctors look really angry. <laughs> Look, you did it! And in record time! I mean, no one's ever done this before, but it's still a record! We better get out of here before they come looking for more bubbles! Good idea! Here we go, the skills course builder bag, sir! And one for you, sir. Thank you, sir! Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. And now, for the final challenge of the day. Who could earn the Billion Bubble Badge? Todd, are you okay, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah, but where are we? This doesn't look like the ocean. No, but, oh, wait a minute. I think I see water over there. Hmm, I don't think so, Park Ranger Andy. It's probably just a mirage. Oh, a mirage? You know I do not speak the French. A mirage? is an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions, like extreme heat. Oh, huh. sounds like magic to me. You mean like this magical tooth that just transported us into the desert from T-Rex Ranch? Where have you taken us? I can answer that question. Hi, who are you? I should ask you the same thing. Hi, Park Ranger Andy. And this is my associate, Park Ranger Asher. Well, hello, Andy. Hello, Asher. My name is Rob, and you're in a magical place called Sharktooth Hill. Aww. Sharktooth Hill? We were trying to get to the ocean. That's true, but if sharks are here, that means the oceans can't be too far, right? Well, that's both right and wrong. Yeah. Um, the ocean's miles away from here now, but we were once 800 feet below the ocean. And now we're at 800 feet above the ocean and we are standing on an ancient seafloor. That's really cool. So maybe you can help us identify this shark tooth we found. It's way too big to be modern shark tooth, right? That's correct. Well, I think I know what this is, but I think you would be better off going down to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. Down there, they'll be able to identify that properly. Oh, we'll go down there right now. Thank you, Rob. Well, you're welcome, but where is your car? I didn't see you drive up here. Would you believe a magical shark to transport us here? No. Hmm. Well, then I suggest you turn around. Okay. Okay, magical shark tooth, please transport us to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. Whoa! about. This magical tooth is a very convenient way to travel. You can say that again. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's say that again. Whoa. Hey, 
Welcome to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. My name is Travis, I'm a docent here, which means I can actually take you around and show you the fossils that we have. That'd be great, a friend of ours recommended that we come here check it out, so that's why we're here. Also, we found this shark tooth that we think might be from an ancient shark, and we heard that you might be able to help us learn more about it. Well, you've definitely come to the right place. We have one of the largest collections of Miocene fossils from this area, including a large collection of shark's teeth. How about I show you guys around? Yes! What do you do at T-Rex Ranch? Oh, we're park rangers. Park rangers? What kind of animals do you have? Well, would you believe me if I told you it was a secret dinosaur sanctuary? Uh, no. And I will mention it. All right, how about you guys follow me? Welcome to the Dinosaur Hall. I want to show you some of my favorite exhibits around here. You guys ready to go? Yeah. All right. Hey, look, the Ketakoala's gotta be the oldest dinosaur I've ever seen. Yeah. It's bones or wood. Let's go learn something. Let's go. So do you know what this is? Yeah, that's a Mosasaur, right? Yeah, correct. A lot of people think that this is a dinosaur, but actually it's related to animals uh, like lizards and snakes. Uh, one of its closest living relatives is actually the Komodo dragon. Uh, let's actually take a look at the skull right here, and I can show you guys how it's related. Um, if you look at the side of the bottom jaw right there, there's a hinge joint, and that actually allows the mosasaur to open its mouth wider to engulf uh, bigger prey. And just like uh, some snakes in the back of the jaw, you can actually see a second row of teeth. This is the same one that was in Jurassic World? Yes, this is actually about an average size for a mosasaur, which could be about 30 to 40 feet. But I can show you an animal that gets just as large as the animals that are in those movies. All right, let's go see it. So this is actually the femur of one of the largest dinosaurs that ever existed. Now the femur bone is actually the bone in your leg that connects from your hip down to your knee. And just by looking at this bone right here, you can see how big this animal was. Of um, an animal called Argentinosaurus. He was actually one of the largest dinosaurs that ever lived. He could grow up to about 93 tons. It's way bigger than me. Yeah, it's way bigger than me too. So I have one more thing to show you guys. All right, All right come with me. No, I fear death. I would love a bone that size. All right, so what we have here is the skull of a Triceratops, and this one is actually a cast. Now, a cast is an exact replica of the original fossil. We don't want to put the original fossils on display because they are fragile and over time could probably fall apart. Did you know what the Triceratops skin looked like? Well, we actually know that. Uh, there's fossil impressions of the skin, specifically of the back, showing these large bony scales that have an attachment point for a quill, just like in a feather. Oh, so this is basically one giant chicken. Well, not entirely. Those feathers were not actually feathers. Think of more like a porcupine quill. Oh, that's worse. And if you look at the skull right here, you can see these deep grooves and impressions in the back of the frill. Now, these are where the blood vessels would have been. It's been theorized that Triceratops may have actually had a covering of keratin along its frill, which is the same stuff that your fingernails are made out of. And using that keratin with the blood vessels underneath, if it were threatened by a T-Rex, he could flush his face full of blood, making himself a brighter color and thereby intimidating the dinosaur. Uh, the horns may have been able to do that as well, as they were also covered in keratin, making them much larger in real life. We can actually tell the age of the animal based on the horns as well. We know that when Triceratops was a hatchling, the horns faced backwards, but as they matured into adults, they begin to rotate forwards. So how old do we think this Triceratops was? This one may have been a teenager. And how long do they usually live? Uh, well, for Triceratops, that's probably unknown, but based on other dinosaurs, we see that other dinosaurs can live up to 30 years. All right, would you guys like to see another Ceratopsian? Yeah. All right, then come with me.
and here we have the entire cast skeleton, uh, not just the skull, the entire skeleton of a Chasmosaurus. A Chasmosaurus was a Ceratopsian dinosaur, which was a horn dinosaur, just like Triceratops. But Chasmosaurus lived much earlier than Triceratops. But as you can see, his frill seems much larger than what we were seeing on the Triceratops. And the name Chasmosaurus actually means opening lizard. And it comes from these big, huge openings in the skull right there. Now, you see his frill is a little bit larger than Triceratops, and so we believe that he may have had patterns like giant eyes on top of his frill right here to make himself look bigger if he was attacked by a predator. So we do actually have an augmented reality sandbox. Would you guys like to see that? Yeah! All right, then come with me. Oh no! Is a Velociraptor behind us? <laughs> All right, so this is our augmented reality sandbox, and it can actually show you the formation of the Sierra Nevadas just outside of Shark Tooth Hill, where you guys were this morning. So imagine, if you will, that this is the ocean where Shark Tooth would have been at. 80 million years ago, during the time of the dinosaurs, during the Cretaceous period, a fault actually would have subducted below the North American plate and pushed up the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges uh, with the heat of magma. So they were actually a volcanic mountain range. And we can actually illustrate a volcano by using this augmented reality machine. So we could build a volcano with the sand? Yes, you can. <sighs> oh, I don't have time to wait for a volcano eruption like this. It could be half a million years. Let's move on. All right, so the fossils that we have here from Shark Tooth Hill actually date back to 15 million years ago during the Miocene period. And if you take a look at this painting, this is what we think Shark Tooth Hill may have actually looked like at that time. So this area was all underwater millions of years ago? That's correct. And if you let me see your shark's tooth, maybe I can see which uh, shark it belonged to. All right, park rangers, what I believe that you have here is the tooth of an ancient megalodon shark. Of course. It was one of the largest sharks to ever exist. It grew up to 52 feet in length, and it could swallow an animal the size of a modern-day orca within five bites. And it wasn't just uh, Megalodon that we had here. We had a numerous amount of different sharks that lived here, such as the extinct hook-tooth mako, the giant mako, and even megamouth sharks. Wow. Thanks for teaching us more about our shark tooth. It's hard to believe that it belonged to the biggest shark who ever lived. It's my pleasure. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Oh, you will for sure. Absolutely. Thanks. Oh, wow, that was fun, huh? I'm excited to have solved the Megalodon Tooth mystery. Me too, but I'm hungry, so maybe you should head back to T Rex Ranch for some lunch. Yeah, T Rex Ranch. Magic of two. Take us to the best nearby pizza joint T Rex Ranch. Uh, I was hoping that was gonna work. Bug spray? Check. Jurassic bug spray? Check. Walkie talkies? Check. Firewood? Check. And now for a very important security item. Thanks, Spike. No need to tell Park Ranger Annie about this, okay? You're not the only secret in this tent, right, Sneaker? That's it. You still got a park ranger, Andy? You have now put up this tent exactly 200 times. Put this up 200 times and this happens every time. Hey, park ranger Asher, how you coming with your tent? Come on over. <laughs> What? 
What? Uh, how? Uh, when? It's my new tent. You like it? Uh, yeah, it's all right. Come check on the inside. There's an inside, too? Park Ranger Asher, did you bring a suitcase camping? Don't worry, it's filled with very important camping supplies. Very important camping supplies? What? Who that came in there? Mm-hmm. Well, at least we got the firewood kindling. Ew, why is the firewood kindling all wet? Oh, I washed them. Good gravy, man, why? So I wouldn't get my suitcase dirty. Oh, that makes sense. But you know what? That is what camping is all about, getting a little dirty reconnecting with nature, and earning your courageous camper badge. I'm ready. Just tell me what I need to do. Forage edible berries? Poisonous plant identification? All great ideas, Park Ranger Asher, but to earn your courageous camper badge, you must make the perfect s'more. That's not fair. What if it's perfect for me and not for you? Park Ranger Asher, the perfect s'more is undeniable, which means I'll know it when I taste it. Um, we might not get the chance. Yeah. Where'd all the marshmallows go? Uh, here's what we do. You're gonna forage in your bags for some other marshmallows, and I am gonna go get us some dry firewood kindling. Out in the very scary, scary dark. In that case, you might need a lantern. Good idea. Ah! There's something out there. And just in case, something to protect yourself. Okay, or just in case. Keep an eye out for baby dinos. Yeah, of course I will. I mean, I mean, what do you mean? The baby dinos are all at dino headquarters, no? Um, yeah. Oh, good. Then I wasn't suspicious at all. <laughs> I never knew it would be so hard to find sticks in the woods. In the dark, dark woods. <laughs> ah! What was that? Where was that? What? There are too many dinos everywhere! Ah! I hope Park Ranger Asher's having a better time finding more stoles than we are finding sticks. <gasps> Look! Sticks! <laughs> Perfect. And they're dry. Some more marshmallows in here somewhere. Oh. oh, safely back to camp. And now it is time for us to make a campfire. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Uh, Park Ranger Asher? Is that you? Uh. Park Ranger Asher, you copy? I might need some help out here. Am I doing double? What's up, Park Ranger? <laughs> There's something hiding in the dark bushes. And I think it's the... But the... Just get to the point. The, the, the dino ghost. <laughs> what does this dino ghost look like to you? Oh, it's like this big, but, but even bigger. And it's got these giant red glowing eyes. <laughs> Maybe in the... <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah, that's some good thinking. Oh, I'm sorry for overreacting. <laughs> oh, look, marshmallows. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, mm. oh these are <laughs> 
my little dolls! There you are. Thank goodness for spare marshmallows. Park Ranger Andy, I think I found your dino ghost. <laughs> you can come out now, it's all safe. I can't. Why not? Uh, I think I'm stuck in a sleeping bag. Park Ranger Andy, this is like the 200th time. That's what I call the perfect s'more. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Does that mean I get the courageous camper badge? Maybe, but I should try one more s'more, just to be sure. I think she said you have to share your s'mores. Maybe we could split it? Fine. Oh, Sneaka. Oh yeah, what a day. Another successful back to school shopping trip to the books. And you know what, Park Ranger AJ? I got you a little something. Check it out. Another whoopee cushion, Park Ranger Andy, for school? The recess. Oh, I can't think about recess. I'm worried I'm not ready for the next grade. Are you kidding? Not ready. Park Ranger AJ, if anybody's ready, it's you. I mean, what if a kid could say they take care of real dinosaurs? We can't say it. It's a secret dinosaur sanctuary, remember? Hmm. Sounds to me like somebody's got the case of the back to school jitters. I mean, I think you've forgotten how much you've learned as a park ranger, but I'm gonna help you remember. Okay. Oh, where did I put this thing? Okay. Dino freeze ray. <gasps> Rainbow blaster. Visibility cloak. Is it in there? I think so. No, no, I have no idea. Behold, the memory machine. This gadget will replay any memory you could think of, just like watching a movie. That's amazing, but I don't remember a memory machine. You probably forgot about it. To the couch. Okay. Now this gadget is going to remind us just how much you've learned here on T-Rex Ranch. But first, I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to think of a memory, something like... Ooh, meeting a delicious Rexa burger. Yeah, and then I activate the machine like this, and... Voila! We share it together. Yeah. Well, can't let this go to waste. Or get cold. I should probably eat this until a fresh one arrives. Please, I'm starving! Hey, slow down! You're gonna get a headache in your stomach! Okay, but we only got about three more minutes until she comes back with the ball. Oh. <laughs> Turn it off! It works! Okay, well that's enough of that memory, but you get the idea. On second thought, I think I'm good with my school supplies. My point is, you have all the skills you already need because of everything you learned here on T-Rex Ranch. Like what? Well, for example, you're a problem solver. Surely you remember all the problems you solved. Park Ranger AJ, now it's your turn. Memory machine, show us a time where AJ got us out of a pickle. Hey, 
Andy, dry Andy. I know it's you. Uh, I mean, not my finest moment. Think, think, what would Park Ranger Andy do? Well, if he wasn't a dinosaur. He would use this. I've got an idea. What wouldn't he use? The dino remote control. Now, where was it? <laughs> Look what I found. Your dino remote that we're probably not going to use. Let's go. That's it. If I can make it back to the T-Rex 1, I can grab the remote control and use it to rewind Andiosaurus back to before he drank the dinosaur DNA. Andiosaurus! I mean, Park Ranger Andy, you gotta drink this dinosaur reversal serum! Oh no! I learned my lesson! I'm not drinking any more mystery drinks! Oh, okay, okay, give it to me! Wow! Oh, it's a good thing we caught it before it turned into a dinosaur! Yeah! Definitely a good thing! Oh. You solved that problem just in a nick of time, Park Ranger AJ. I still don't get why anyone would drink anything out of a beaker. I don't not know. Hey, Memory Machine, show us another example of AJ's amazing problem-solving skills. Hey, that's it! Fetch! Okay, Dino. Go fetch! Wow, I can't believe that actually worked. I wonder if he knows that fetch beans bring it back. Oh dear, he knows. Need to think. T Rexes don't have very good eyesight and they hunt with their smell, so I could shove a stick up its nose. Or I could hide my scent. But what? Mm. Is that Triceratops poop? <laughs> oh! Yeah! I don't know if this was such a good idea. Here goes nothing! Oh, I really hope this works because I don't think I can stand any more dino poop on me. Thanks a lot, Pteranodon. Well, if it was going to happen, today is definitely the day. Oh, now that was not my finest moment. Yeah, but the point is you figured it out both times. And you taught a T-Rex how to fetch. I mean, that's pretty impressive if you ask me. What if I don't make friends in my new class? You mean to tell me you don't remember how easily it is you make friends? Let the memory machine remind you. Memory machine, show AJ how easily he makes friends. This'll help. Old french fries? How will that help? It might not help the stego, but it's gonna help me. I'm starving. French fry? Are you sure this isn't your memory, Park Ranger Andy? Just hang out, huh? We've got to get you home, Mr. or Mrs. Stegosaurus. There's a spino on the loose. Mm. Oh, I think I know what you want. Hey, that gives me an idea. Mm. Here, Stego, Stego, Stego. 
Here's Tega. It was definitely a team effort to keep that Stego safe, Park Ranger Andy. You made a friend for life that day. <gasps> but you know what else is important? Bravery. Memory machine shows Park Ranger AJ being brave. What kind of snake is that? So this is Chris, our red tail boa. He weighs about 150 pounds and he's 13 feet long. But man, he's only gonna get bigger. How old is he? He's about eight years. He'll live up to 20 or so, and then he'll get 20 feet and 300 pounds. You won't be able to carry him then. Oh, my poor back. He likes to, uh, he likes to be petted? Yeah, yeah, he's friendly. You want me to put him down with you guys and pet him? Sure. Yeah, AJ wants to pet him. Snakes aren't so scary once you get used to them. Not scary, huh? All right. Memory machine, show us a few more moments of bravery. Can I hold him before it gets too long? Yeah, <laughs> sure, this is the perfect size. Just tuck your right arm over the tail and back under his body like you're hugging him. Bring that same hand up under his belly and your other hand under his chest. Waterfall. And a cave. What do you think it leads? I don't know, but it looks scary. Let's go in and find out. Let's go in? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Me first? Yeah, I've got more life to live. It's not what I thought it was going to be. A mighty T-Rex. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. So that's it? This is the T-Rex? I remember it being bigger. Yeah, me too. Park Ranger and not mine. Well, you got me there, Park Ranger. Now, there is one more memory you have to see. Memory machine, show us an adventure. What's that in the background? <gasps> Look! A mammoth! Is that the mammoth? <gasps> Let's go see! <sighs> we made it! There he is, Eddie the Colombian Mammoth! Awesome! For a pretty awesome day. You said it. Well, I guess this is the end. <laughs> no, this is the end. Har, har. <laughs> well, Park Ranger AJ, what do you remember now? You're a good problem solver, you make friends easily, and you're brave. I mean, what more do you need to start a new school year? You know what? I think I'm ready, Park Ranger Andy. I guess I just needed to jog my memory a little bit. You know what would be fun? Memory Machine, tell us about a time a Pteranodon confused Park Ranger Andy with a piece of bacon. I'm riding a dino! I'm riding a dino! Where are we, Park Ranger Andy? Well, Park Ranger AJ, we're at Dinos Alive in Montebello, Los Angeles. We're inside, there's over 80 animatronic dinosaurs. Let's go compare them to the real dinosaurs at T-Rex Riot. Great idea, let's go. What do you think VIP means? Very immense predators. Whoa. We're in a jungle. Well, we're not in Montebello anymore. Waterfall. And a cave. Where do you think it leads? I don't know, but it looks scary. Let's go in and find out. Let's go in? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. 
Me first? Yeah, I've got more life to live. Not what I thought it was gonna be. It's dark in here. Let's get our lights out. Good idea. What if the dinosaurs just jump out at us? I thought you said they were animatronic. What if it's a jumping animatronic? Shh. Do you hear that? Oh. I think I see something. Whoa. What is it? It's a Coloradosaurus. From when? The Triassic period. We don't have one of those. But we have one of those. A Stegosaurus. And look at the Metrodon, just like the one back at T-Rex Ranch. Except these dinos are much better behaved than our dinos. You said it. A Plantosaurus! What else do they got? Look at this big guy. Whoa! Diplodocus! Wow! It could be a hundred feet long! That's a lot of shoes. Look at the spikes on his back. I guess you can't ride him. Oh, that looks like it would hurt. Look how long the tail is. It's almost as long as the rest of this whole body. An Angliosaurus! Kentrosaurus. It looks kind of like the Angliosaurus. Look at his face. He's got such a kind little face. Dilophosaurus! He's a fancy dinosaur with that fancy collar. You gonna go to a fancy tea party? A fancy tea Rex party. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's terrifying. <laughs> An Allosaurus! Cool. Uh oh. You know they're carnivores, don't you? Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, it's okay, buddy. Oh, we got a couple of these. Look at that beautiful head. Oh, <gasps> there's babies. A Carnotaurus. That what that is? It's a it's a dragon. Would you rather run into him or the T-Rex? I don't know, they're both pretty scary. Uh, just back up slowly. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. That is a scary dino. He looks like a giant alligator. Yeah! From the Cretaceous period. I'm gonna guess he's a herbivore. Oh, he's a carnivore. He's another scary guy. Oh. He's a Paradoix. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. He likes me. Look at these. Those heads look good for ramming people. They look like helmets. What would happen if I did that to you? Not a good idea. What's through here? A mighty T-Rex. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. So that's it? This is the T-Rex? I remember him being bigger. Yeah, me too. A Spinosaurus! Wow, it's gigantic! We have one at T-Rex Ranch, but I don't think it's this big. No, but we've never been this close to it. Usually it's very far in the distance. Think it's bigger than a T-Rex? I don't know, let's find out. Larger than T-Rex, Spinosauruses were the largest carnivorous dinosaur. Its name comes from the large fin on its back, which was probably a display feature. Spinosaurus hunted fish along the shore and smaller prey like infant dinosaurs and adult park rangers. Whew. Park rangers? Oh, no, just kidding. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Spinosaurus. Let's go. Get out of here. Yeah. 
Let's go. Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzal 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 Quetzal
Oh, nothing could possibly interrupt this perfect lunch now. At the door. Could be knocking on the door with my lunch. AJ will get it for me. Hey, AJ! Someone's at the door! Maybe you can't hear me in the face. Hey, AJ! Someone's at the door! I can't get it because I'm not here! <laughs> you might know that's not true. Wait a minute. Maybe it's a pizza delivery. Oh. be seeing things. Well, there's only one way to find out. That's to go here and open up this closet and see that there's absolutely no raptor inside. Okay, here we go. <gasps> ah! Looks like we have ourselves a situation. Okay, well... I better find AJ, get out of here, and then warn him. No, I better get out of here, find AJ, then warn him. Yeah, this was safe. First I am, we're going to save her out on the ranch, and then I'll go to <laughs> This is not good. The T-Rex is looking at me like I look at my pizza sandwich. Which, by the way, I have yet to eat. In fact, what does that T-Rex think she is? Interrupting my lunch like that. You know what? I want to give her a piece of my mind. In fact, that's just what I'm going to do. You know, Miss T-Rex, you are interrupting my lunch. <laughs> okay, not as sympathetic as I had hoped. I got to tell AJ that we're being surrounded by fierce predators. Oh, but my walkie's over there. Okay, what's I going to do is stretch to get it? while holding the door. I can use a little help. Look, Ranger AJ, I'm so glad you're here. Hand me my walkie-talkie. This way I can get a hold of... You? How can I help, Park Ranger Andy? Well, first of all, there's a very rude T-Rex on the other side of this door, and I think she's trying to get inside. I believe you, but that doesn't sound like typical T-Rex behavior. So, let me take a look. <laughs> I got you good. There's no T-Rex there. Well, there probably is one out there somewhere, because we're at T-Rex Ranch. Huh. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me because I haven't had my lunch yet. Is that all you had to tell me? No. There's one very big bit of information that you need to know. There's a raptor in that closet. <laughs> okay, you must be cranky because that is ridiculous. Wait, cranky? Crazy and hungry. <laughs> That's a good one. But I'm not. I'm telling you. I was sitting right here. I was eating my lunch. And there was a knock on the door. And then the door opened. And a raptor ran in. And it locked itself in the closet. Ranger Andy, I know there is a raptor in that closet. There is. There is. Not I'm going to open this door and prove to you that there's nothing except a bunch of gadgets and blasters. He's got one of our gadgets. Why is there a raptor in the closet? Well, that brings me back to my original point. I think she's being chased. Chased? By who? By who? Well, this is a real pickle. You could say that again. You're not going to say that again, are you? No, 
know, because what would be hilariously hilarious, I think we need to focus on the problem at hand. How do we get the raft out of the closet? Hmm. Oh, I got it, I got it, we could... Uh, I know, we could... Oh, that won't work. Well, we could... <sighs> no, my mind. I got it, we... No, we don't have enough marshmallows. Oh, it's no use, I can't think with all this noise. Wait, but there's no noise. But then I can't think with all this silence. Exactly! I don't hear the tracks. Did you go away? I don't know. To the window! <gasps> Look, the T Rex! Behind that door! Hey. Yeah, but wait a minute. Where's she going? Oh, look, she found another raptor. Uh oh, I think that raptor is about to get eaten up. Or tapped on the head? I don't understand what's happening. I got it! The T Rex and the raptors are playing hide and seek. That's why he ran into the closet. He's hiding. What an interestingly weird theory. You got a better one? Nope. That's what I thought. Now all we have to do is shove this raptor where the closet raptor is hiding. And voila! Problem solved. Watch and learn. You who Mrs. Raptor! Looking for someone? I think this is a good idea. Oh, please. What could possibly go wrong? He's going to be mad at you. <laughs> See, I told you. What do we do? He thinks he's it, so he's counting to ten. We should hide. Yeah. Where to hide? Where to hide? Say that again. Fine. This is a real pickle. <laughs> you see how funny that was? I think I'll take my chances with the raptors. No, don't! Park Ranger Asher. Birthday wishes weren't invented back in a prehistoric era, so it is our job to throw a birthday celebration for all our dinos that they won't soon forget. Well, at least not until the next Ice Age. Okay. This time, let the dino go out the candle, not you. What have I ever done that? Uh, won't happen again. Park Ranger's honor. There's a birthday brachiosaurus right now. So, how old is he? Oh, he's a. Uh... 65 million years. Now let's go wish this Brock a happy birthday. From all of us at T-Rex Rage are gonna do a birthday dance. Go Asher, go Asher. Go Andy, go Andy. Go both of us, go both of us. And now, a birthday cupcake. <gasps> Don't blow it out, let the dino do it. What if he can't blow out the candle? How is he going to make a birthday wish? Oh, he blew it out. What do you think he wished for? Oh, I bet he wished he was king of the dinos. That's what I'd wish for. I 
guess we'll never know. Oh yeah, we'll never know. Why do you sound so suspicious? Another successful birthday dino celebration in the books. The next one is tomorrow. You think the pteranodons are like chocolate cupcakes or hazelnut? Definitely hazelnut. I'm almost done with the update on my dino since I got. Do you want to go test it out? Roar! I mean, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We can't test the dino translator without any dinos. Anything on the dino tracker? Dino tracker? <laughs> I have something better than a dino tracker. Woohoo! Where did those come from? Pixel Burger. It turns out their fries are the perfect dino bait and the perfect Andy bait. Watch. Yeah, dino, 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 dinos! Get your fries! Dino, 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 dinos! Are you sure you want to do that? You could have checked the wrong kind of dino. Yeah, but like which ones? I don't know, but they sure seem to be in a hurry for some reason. Maybe the dino translator knows. Brachiosaurus Rex. Run. Huh, that doesn't sound right. Play it back again. Brachiosaurus Rex. Run. Ah, Gordon Lady. Run! Okay, okay. Uh, now, I have a theory, and that is that my theory was correct. That the Brachiosaurus wished that he was a T Rex for his birthday. So, if that's true, how do we fix it? Well, so glad you asked. The only way to reverse a birthday wish is to blow out another birthday candle and make an unwish, which means that we have to throw another birthday party. Exactly. I'll get the decorations. Oh, and some more fries. Ah, look at that. Perfection. So, where's the birthday guest of honor? Uh, he's about a quarter of a mile behind me. I mean, he may think he's a T-Rex, but he's got the body of a very large, very slow dinosaur. <gasps> there he is! From all of us at T-Rex Ranch, you're gonna do a birthday dance! Go, Asher! Go, Asher! Go, Andy! Go, Andy! Go, both of us! Go, both of us! And now... A cupcake for you! Oh, he blew out the candle! Huh, what do you say? Use a dino translator. Right. Brachiosaurus Rex, run. We knew that already. Maybe it's stuck. Try turning it on and off again. Translating. I am King of Dinos. Get out of my way, you puny humans. That's not good, and we've only got one cupcake left. How do we get him to blow it out and reverse the birthday wish? I don't know, but we gotta get him to want to go back to being a Brachiosaurus. <gasps> but how? T-Rex is of the thrill of a chase. So we'll give him something to hunt. Oh yeah, like a timid triceratops or sickly stegosaurus. Or a couple of great park rangers. That's our cue! Hit it! It's time for the cupcake, Park Ranger Asher. Well, actually, if the Brachiosaurus thinks it's a T Rex, then it probably won't be interested in a cupcake. I see what you're thinking. Yeah, follow me.
Uh, you know, those T-Rex treats look delicious. Please don't eat any of them. No, I won't. They don't taste as good as they look. Oh. Ooh, doesn't sound happy. This food smells disgusting. I would like a cupcake after all. Archmage Randy, cupcake please. Well, you know about that. Park Ranger Randy? Look, I guess I might have eaten it. But that was from the Pachysaurus. We did all that work for nothing? I know. It's kind of nuts. <gasps> Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Nuts and berries are specially picked for this hungry and tired plant eater. Brilliant. Now, let's add a candle. Ready? Couldn't be more ready. OK, light the candle. But this time, remember, no more blowing out other dinos' candles. Roger, Park Ranger. Here we go! Happy, Happy birthday! The candle's blown out! I wish I was a Brachiosaurus again. Well, it was mostly me, but since you drove the T-Rex one, I guess I'll give you a little credit. Hey, wait a minute, the nuts and berries were my idea. Fair enough. Check it out, Park Ranger AJ. Bacon and eggs. You? Didn't you bring some food in your backpack? Oh, yeah. Good point. The cushion. <laughs> rubber chicken? Maybe we can make rubber chicken nuggets. I don't think that's how it works. <gasps> Trail mix. The most boring of all the mixes. Wait, all the MMs are gone. Uh, no time to answer. It sounds like we have an emergency. Thank goodness. A Spinosaurus is loose in Herbivore Valley, and it's heading towards the Stegosaurus! Spinosaurus and a Stegosaurus! That's a bad combination, like, like peanut butter and chocolate! That's not terrible. You didn't let me finish. And anchovies! Oh yeah, you're right. We gotta save the Stego Park Ranger, Andy! To the T-Rex 1! There's gotta be something in here that can help that poor Stego. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. This will help. Old French fries? How will that help? Yeah, it might not help the stego, but it's going to help me. I'm starving. Invisibility cloak. Good thinking. We've got the rainbow ray and the shrink ray blaster. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Absolutely. What? What? 
You never know when you're gonna need it. You never know. Right, let's go save a Stegosaurus. the plan. I think we should split up to cover more ground. I will go find the Spino and you go steer the Stego away. Sounds like an easy plan where nothing could go wrong. Indubitable. seems to be really far away. Where's my phone's at right now? Uh-oh. Oh, oh no! Oh, that wasn't what I thought it was. Parker, <laughs> I got eyes on a spinal right now. But it's much better than I remember. Park Ranger Andy, you've got to get the spino out of there. The Stegosaurus is on the move and heading your way. Okay. Andy, over and out. All right, I know this is going to be hard, but think, Andy, think. Get you home, Mr. or Mrs. Stegosaurus. There's a spino on the loose. Oh no! Shrink ray! If I've got the shrink ray, that means Park Ranger Andy's got the Rainbow Ray? What am I gonna do with this? Wait a minute. AJ? This isn't my bag? Gotta be something in here I can use. <gasps> the invisibility cloak. Go 
Well, you don't see that every day. And you don't hear that every day. Park Ranger Andy must be in trouble. <laughs> Where's Park Ranger Andy? Wait a minute. Where am I? Let's see, according to the map, I'm right back where I started. Oh! Don't worry, Park Ranger AJ! I'm coming! Don't fail me now! Park Ranger AJ, we gotta run! There's a Spinosaurus coming! You mean that Spinosaurus? <laughs> I got this. Uh, I think that was our last chance. I got this. Prepare to eat something! <laughs> Good job, Park Ranger AJ. Now what we gotta do is get into the backpack. Not. You never know when you might need it. Oh. Hang on, Park Ranger Andy, I got this. <laughs> Ew, what was that? Uh, the whoopee cushion? But the whoopee cushion's in my back. Oh, you don't say. Anyway, let's get this feisty little guy out of here. And then I think it's lunchtime. Ooh, got you covered. Somebody left a bunch of perfectly good fries on the ground. Huh? Come on, I wonder if I'm... Okay, you'll get it this time. You just watch. Okay, Rexy. Circle. Circle. You did it! Good job, Rexy! Here's a tree! See? They're food oriented, just like me. Pretty cool, but uh how long have you been in here? Uh I'm not really sure. What day is it? Yeah, you should probably go take a break. I'll watch the baby dinos. Oh, if that's a good idea. I mean they've been really mischievous lately, and that's why I've been trying to train them. But okay. You can watch them, but just promise me that they'll take a nap soon, okay? No problem. And I'll just use my new gadget, the Dino Maki Talkie. And instead of just imitating people, it can imitate dinosaurs. Let me see. Oh, man. I must have left it at the lookout. No problem. Don't you worry about it for one second, Park Ranger Asher. One Dino Maki Talkie rescue mission coming right up. Now. You guys be good for Park Ranger Asher, okay? And don't you forget that lunchtime is nap time. Copy that, Park Ranger. Copy that? Lunchtime is nap time. Wow, that's very impressive. I should give Park Ranger Andy an achievement badge for his hard work. Wait, Brachiosaurus, Triceratops, T-Rex, Oh no! The baby bear Sarophis is missing! Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Park Ranger Asher was right. I do feel better with the sun on my face and nothing to worry about. Certainly not those baby dinos who I know are safe and sound. Da if I was a baby Pierceropus, where would I be? Hey, who threw that? Very mischievous. Yes! 
no maki taki. Mission achievement. Park Ranger Ashley, this is Park Ranger Andy. Come on in. Coffee, I'm here. You okay? Sure. Just playing with the baby dinos. I mean, putting them to bed. Oh, good. Well, I have great news. I have found the dino maki That is great news. Thank you. You're not coming back yet, though, right? Take all the time you need. Hey, you know what? I do deserve a little break. All right, I am going to take some time. Park Ranger Andy, over and out. Ah. Well, let's see here. How does this thing work? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is fun. <laughs> Can't get into trouble with this. I'm a dinosaur. Two down, two to go. Gotcha! Three down, one baby parasaurolf is to go. Oh no! It's a door! You know, when I get back, I'm gonna make sure those baby dinos get more fresh air and exercise. Too much time inside Dino H2 can make someone go a little <laughs> crazy. Oh, Wait a minute. I thought you were taking a nap. Hey, I guess not. Stay sleepy, little guys. I've got to find Baby Pear before Park Ranger Andy gets back. And that is my impression of a pteranodon on the terrace. All right, well, fine. I'll give it a five out of 10 myself. But if you want to hear something really cool, listen to this. This is Park Ranger Asher's newest gadget, which perfectly imitates any dinosaur. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Don't run, make believe. In fact, the Stegosaurus is actually a very friendly animal. Now, well, how about some lunch? Was that my stomach or yours? I don't know if that's my stomach. Do I want to look? Here, baby Pharaoh. I got your favorite treat, popcorn. Well, I had your favorite treat. Oh no, Park Ranger Andy! Oh, 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 you think I'm the Stegosaurus because of Park Ranger Asher's gadgets. Oh, I should have been the T-Rex out and scared you away. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. I have an idea. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Science saved me again. Where'd my little buddy go? There you are. What are you doing here? Oh, um, looking for her. Sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I tried my best, but she snuck away when I wasn't looking. No, well, that's okay. Like I said, they can be pretty mischievous. Luckily, they can also get tuckered out easily, too. Oh, Oh, it's as good as me. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, you're so cute, aren't you? Park Ranger Andy. 
Because you did such a good job training baby dinos, I would like to give you the terrific trainer badge. No way! This is awesome! This is awesome! You know, I've never actually gotten an achievement badge before. Maybe it's the first of many. Yeah, oh, maybe I'm gonna get an achievement badge for finally getting my achievement badge. Do they have those? <gasps> How about this? I get a badge for coming with the idea of giving out achievement badges for giving out an achievement badge. Yeah! <sighs> oh. I'm gonna get an achievement badge for going to sleep. I can do that. Oh. Who am I kidding? I can't sleep. I'm too excited. Maybe I'll play with the baby dinosaurs. Where the baby dinosaurs? Oh, <laughs> <laughs>